This is Uber TV making a presentation. I'm giving advice on people that are thinking, are already in a process, or have already in their past data strippers. This presentation will be just one question and one answer. She a data stripper? No. Goodbye. First of all, before someone has this idea pop in their mind, you should understand what a stripper does and what she's all about. Are there people that day strippers before? Of course. About every goddamn strip joint has strippers that date the customers, seriously speaking. It has happened. I don't know how many, but some guys has dated booty shakers. One of the main reasons guys do this is if they are single guys, they like to fund and mess the strippers give them, particularly the motherfuckers that go there every week. They are hooked on a fantasy and illusion and chose this as their everyday pleasure. Because of this, they are prevented from having a real relationship. They don't even want one. They thinking, I don't want to waste time having a serious girlfriend. Some days you get pussy, some days you don't. You commit to come home every day and listen to her. Some days you argue, you have to listen to her shit. Worse if it's a breakup or divorce. She needs to go elsewhere. You fucked up inside and hate everything. The whole thing fucks you up, you don't want it. Dang a stripper is not like that. You see her what you you see her anytime you want, you get what you want, and you have no worries. Males that have relationships are married, do it because two reasons. They still like the fantasy you don't want to leave it, or their wife or girlfriend is not giving them enough or none at all for whatever reason. They're disappointed or angry with their partner, so they blow their money at a strip club. That makes them feel better. This is a solemn reason why men go to strip joints. Let me give you a complete definition of a stripper. It's fine to go to one, but you must understand what a prerogative is. A stripper is a girl that does what she does for money. When they climb the pole, crawl the floor, shake their ass in your face, or dance on your lap, it is to get your money. The time she spends with you is her time on the clock. She does a sexual gesture with you to get paid. She likes you or that you, you can pick her up off the club, take her out to dinner, go to a house, or start a friendship that could escalate to a relationship or marry her one day, you are dead wrong. This girl's not having any of those kind of thoughts with you. This bitch is only thinking about one thing. How much money is she going to get from your ass? The mentality you should have every time you go there is, let me have an entertaining time with her, not let me see if I can pick her up. If you are, not being rude or mean, but you're a dumbass motherfucker that don't know shit. If you do know, you're a weak motherfucker that's still easy to get manipulated. The definition of a strip joint, it is a business that collects money from its customers. It circulates money from the workers to the building. A stripper's job is completely different from a regular one. Your job operates as a usual 9 to 5 job. You clock in, do your job, make your supervisor happy, refrain from getting suspended or let go, live from paycheck to paycheck, get paid every week or two weeks, bullshit with the other guys on lunch, get drunk on Friday or Saturday night. Your job has a regular salary. You get paid hourly or weekly or monthly. File your income tax every damn April, get refunded. You have a job that basically takes care of you. You're set. A stripper's job is all the other way around. She doesn't get paid like you do. She has not received money from her manager. The only money she gets is from the customer, whether it's a lap dance or on the podium. She doesn't get paychecks or cash from her job. She is not W-2 like you are. Strippers are independent contractors. Technically, they do not work for the building. The boss does not pay her. In fact, she pays the manager. She has a paid amount to rent the stage she dances on. She pays a fee. So keep in mind, every time you go there, when she comes to you for a dance, that's the reason why. A stripper's mindset is different than an average worker. Strippers live in constant fear. No matter how much security or bouncers are there, she's still scared. Every guy she talks to or teases, she never knows what's on his mind. She don't know if he wants to take her to a motel, fuck her brains out, or take her to an alley and strangle her. Most strippers aren't happy. What they do is just a job. A stripper dancing is the same as whatever job you do. She's on a clock like your ass, except she has more precautions than you do. Picture her as working at a gas station or driving a taxi cab. Anything can happen. 
When you see a stripper always smiling, you got to remember it's an act. They may not always feel positive, especially if they're having a bad night. Again, they're independent contractors. So they don't always come in when they're supposed to. If her schedule is Wednesday through Saturday, she may not always come those days. She can decide what day she wants to perform. If she says, fuck it, I'm not coming in today, she'll skip that day. Her job schedule has no obligation like a regular employee. Your schedule is Wednesday through Saturday. You have to come in. If you can't, you got to tell your boss early or you'll have hell to pay. A stripper can basically decide when she wants to come, whereas a regular worker can't. A stripper works in an environment where there's alcohol and cigarettes. Most strippers consume alcohol while they dance and smoke with the customers sometimes. Alcohol is not forbidden because it enables them to perform. It numbs them where, it don't, uh, where they don't feel anything. Are there drugs involved? Yes. Most strippers use some kind of drug to work. I don't mean prescription or over-the-counter. They drink alcohol frequently, so those drugs won't work. I mean shit like coke, weed, meth, ecstasy, acid, PCP, angel dust, barbiturates, sherm, pot, LSD, heroin, uh, what else? Primo, GSP, quaaludes, speed. If a dancer says they don't do any of that, 8 out of 10, that bitch is lying. Most take drugs because, like alcohol, it enables, it enables them to perform. A lot of girls out there interested in being a stripper, particularly those that never done it are curious, let me tell you. Honestly, it's not a good business. You can make a shitload of money, but it depends how good you are. As a stripper, you quite frankly deal with a lot of shit. A lot of other girls aren't nice. They'll intimidate you if you're nice. Some will go behind your back. If you're a girl that don't like drama, do not get in the stripping business. Don't do it. Large amounts of them have fought other girls, whether it was physical or verbal. Most strippers do drugs not on the job, but in their private time. If they get caught at work, they're gone, but the manager does not really take the drugs away from them. They just can't do it at work. Drugs and alcohol for a stripper basically is a must. You do a job where you where you take your clothes off to guys you don't know, sweet talking for a private dance, mess with strangers, you have to have no feelings. You gotta be like in a trance. A girl that's not a square, that's a square and does not indulge in knife life will not do that job. I don't care how much money she needs. It doesn't work that way. If you think it's a fun job, some regards it is, but it's not easy. A server that's been in the game for five years has been through shit. Three years, she's seen shit. One year, she's seen shit. There's never a booty shaker take that line of work and had nice days. Every goddamn sleazy-ass booty-shaking bitch went through some hell. Whether it was a conversation with her boss, argument with a customer, or the other dancers, which is other hoes. She had a pocket for the rent, feeling uncomfortable some motherfucker leering at her. Let me tell you, no bullshit, real words. Stripping has consequences. Average strippers are between 18 and 28 years old. Very rarely you find a booty shaker past 35. There's some, of course, but one of the main reasons is she's broken her fucking ass and desperate. Or she could hang up because she's good at making money and can continue, or she doesn't want to get out of the glitter. For a business past 35, that's very rare. Girls that caliber know exactly what they're doing. You men out there uh, that saw a booty shaker spend excessive time with a dude, or if they have a pool game with them, don't be jealous. That's just a tag they learned to get them in a the champagne room or VIP room. Again, they are workers. Strippers visualize guys in a club. If you worked in a grocery store, you run the checkout. You run the items on a conveyor belt, putting it in bags, turn the price, give them the receipt. Have a nice day. Grocery workers have a lot of people one by one. Every person you're checking out, you don't know who they are. You don't know, you don't want to know. Every motherfucking in your stall is a number. Your job is to check them and bag them. Okay? Every customer to a stripper is those motherfuckers in a grocery store standing in line. Okay? It's the same deal. Her job is a business. As I said, an average girl that's not ghetto or proper upbringing normally won't go to strip. Was it instant girls doing it? Yes, but a strip normally takes a girl that's had a fucked up childhood, a girl promiscuous, or a girl that wants attention. Large amounts of them, seriously speaking, are interested in girls. A lot of girls, a lot of strippers are lesbian or bisexual. A stripper, if questioned, may say, no, I'm not gay. I don't like females sexually, only men. Nine out of ten, she's lying. A female that is completely heterosexual will not do that job. 
To strip, you must be open to the same sex or not let it bother you. You must be open to girls because not only men walk in strip joints, girls do too. A lot of females got come in just like just like the males tip them. Uh, a lot of females tip them on stage. A lot of girls even get females get lap dances. Some of the girls even ask for their phone number. Lesbos go to strip joints like guys. A lot of girls got hit on by other bitches. A stripper that put a year under her belt has women flirt with her. If she says no, she's lying. A girl that that is completely straight would be repulsed. So if you strip, you can't let it bother you. Majority of booty shakers are gay or bisexual. No questions asked. Another thing I want to bring up, large percentage of strippers experience mental problems during or after their job. Strippers have flashbacks, nightmares, or disassociation with the outside world. Say you got an ass shaker that works two jobs. Stripping, plus she works at a bank. Because her bank job is different than stripping, she has trouble identifying the two. Her job at Bank of America, she's in another world. People don't want to see her disrobe and shake her ass. She won't be dowsing a long neck at work. She won't be whispering to a customer for a dance. She won't be getting on a customer's lap during a transaction. Her boss won't be playing loud music and she won't climb on a pole. She won't flash her tits to the customers for fun. She does any, any of those things. Her manager will fire her ass immediately and may even call to get her arrested. Strippers that hold other jobs won't have drunk customers salivating at her with a woody in her pants liking what they see. A girl that's a stripper uh, has really a split personality. Her appearance as a stripper is different in her uh, in her personal life. Most of her names are fictitious. A, a girl's real name, Angela Johnson, a booty shaker, she's cherry. A stripper slips into a different person. <coughs> On a serious note, stripping is sometimes a dangerous life. Girls have suffered mental trauma and some has even died. Stress disorders, trauma from the customers, excessive alcohol and, dr and drug use, some kill themselves. Dead serious, some ass shakers has lost their lives. Drug overdoses, suicide, or believe it or not, killed by the damn customers. Girls out there want to be strippers? Hate to break it this way. You can do it, but get ready for the pitfalls. Now, here's the main point in this subject. This is the final straw. Has men dated strippers? Yes. They did it in the past, doing it now, and will do it in the future. Here we go. This is for the guys that dated them. First of all, you have to remember that you went out with a bitch that made herself available to other guys. You went with a girl that then got hit on by numerous men and some women as well. If you had a personal meet with a stripper, that meant one thing. You was a cocky, shit-talking motherfucker that got her to listen to you. And your ass had money. Strippers make very careful who they break their rules to. If they date a guy away from the building, they see to it that he knows what he's doing. And he has money. They determine that by seeing what he does in the building. If you repeatedly threw dollar bills when she was crawling in her ass, bought expensive ass drinks at the bar, bought most of her lap dances, and saw his 2015 Mercedes that was clean inside and is attracted to him, then she may consider. Guys that date these kind of girls has had shit have spent shit loads of money on them. Here are the hazards that guys face dating these girls. You're having a relationship with a girl that is possibly doused with alcohol or even drugs. You're with a girl that could be having psychological trouble. A lot of strippers have children, so you'll have a girl that will come to you again for money. She'll need money for a baby, money for diapers, money for clothes, money to support them. She'll, uh, she'll want money for her apartment rent, her phone bill, her credit card bill, her fucking car note. Your dang girl that will have baggage. Strippers that personally date guys will automatically make them their ATM machine. You will not get your money back. She will continue to milk every penny you get, or she will uh, any money every money you got, or she will end a relationship immediately. No questions asked. Be prepared to throw you out. Th be prepared to throw your money out the window. That's basically what you're doing. As I said, your dang girl that gets numerous guys excited when she's working. These are guys that are horny. Guys that are intoxicated, salivating at the mouth, sometimes their cocks rock hard. Guys that will flirt, put their hands on her, ask for her phone, even ask to have a good time with her. Be on the lookout for confrontation. Suppose you're talking to her privately at McDonald's while you're eating. Another son of a bitch comes to her all of a sudden. He recognizes her at a strip joint and greets himself. 
To make matters worse, he tells her of the constant boner she gives him. He even, he even gives her his phone number. You politely tell his ass to get stepping, and he feels he doesn't have to listen to you. He says, go fuck yourself. Be aware of the scuffles, confrontations, fistfights that can occur. Truthfully, if you date a bitch like this, you're going to go through hell. You're going to go through tremendous hell. What you have done was you have dated a girl that chose a profession that manipulates guys. She manipulates other men for the gratitude of money by making sexual advances. This is a girl that really plays a game. Is a game that is concocted, cutthroat, and dangerous. What you actually done was date a girl that is a whore. A girl that gave her body to the public. You date a girl that is actually polluted. So she's a stripper? Yes, but be on the lookout for things that will happen that you wish did not happen.